don't think the video is going to do this justice. This is my giant chain fern, Woodwardia fembriata. It is a West Coast native. Uh, I believe it grows all the way up into BC. It's here in Oregon, California, and there's even some spots, I think, in like Arizona and Nevada. But this is a truly enormous fern. And mine is definitely living up to the hype. It puts any Tasmanian tree firm to shame with the size of its fronds. However, they do not form trunks. It is very difficult to see this because this is quite overgrown, but the idea is, is that once these palms get taller, this will become more visible with time. I'm gonna try and get down. So here we are. This one here, when I hold it up, it's about as tall as me. So we're right, right around six foot. And give these guys room. This was a one gallon plant and it is absolutely enormous. I bet if there was nothing uh, immediately near it, it would probably have a, a diameter of about eight feet been pushing out these giant giant leaves or fronds whatever you want to call them and they are evergreen which is really cool and it's more hardy than a Tasmanian tree fern so if you can't grow one of those this is probably your next best choice here's a new one that's coming out you know, it does like moisture, not too much sun, although some people have reported that these things can handle full sun. As long as they have enough water. Um, these are some of the older fronds that are a little bit more of a dull green, whereas the new fresh growth is this kind of light, fresh looking green, but absolutely enormous fern. That uh, frond that's coming up right in front of me is my height, so. I would imagine if you had the room and you had a, you know, you planted these on mass, it would be something impressive. So look, here's the middle of my, basically to my belly button right here. Huge fern, highly recommended. I went back, I bought this from Portland Nursery on Stark in their native plant section, probably close to three years ago. And I went back this year to see if I could find another and I've been unsuccessful. The one on Division Street doesn't have them either. So not that common, but definitely worth the grow. I really wish I could <laughs> kind of get a good shot of this, but it's going to be a number of years before we can see this thing in its full glory. Thanks for watching.